right, I'm about to start this next session with Chris Jones. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're starting bone dry. It's gonna be songwriting slash production. No preparation into this. We're just gonna be building something from scratch. He wanted something a little bit more organic. We're just gonna see exactly what he brings to the table, what he's vibing with and everything. We're just gonna see what magic we have. Okay, so I'm about to go into my session with Twan today. Super excited. Um, he's always a vibe. He always brings like dope instrumentals. And he's very, you know, has great ideas in the studio. So we always make something unique, something fire. So I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm super excited. Yo, Swan, how's it going, man? Yo, what's up, man? How are you? What's up, man? Good. good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> you got something good to work on, right? Yeah. Yeah. All let's right, do let's it. do it. So tell me about like, what's the vibe you're trying to set? Like, how fast is it or anything like that? Um, I want it to be not super slow, but definitely not too fast, like kind of somewhere in the middle. Basically, I want to talk about like the road that I've chosen, you know what I mean? How it hasn't been like the typical, you know, road and it's been harder in some areas. So basically like the road less traveled by is like the idea. Okay. That I Something like that, right? Yeah. Just vibing out. Maybe a little bit faster. Things might not be easy, oh, sometimes. Cool, cool, cool. Let's actually get the tempo. Cool. Mm. It sounded good, man. I'm catching a vibe real quick. much done as we wanted to but I think we have a really solid idea so, you know so uh, I'll bounce this out kind of like structure it a little bit and then I'll send it to you okay. and we'll meet again cool. soon cool. 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 Yes, sir. so we just got out the studio we made some fire today like some real fire um, we didn't quite get to finish but it's definitely a solid you know a solid beginning of it and we're gonna meet back up and finish it but I'm telling you right now it's some heat it's really some heat so Y'all stay tuned. Today I am working with Chris over his latest single, Bad Guy. Excited to see how he sounds in the studio because I heard he's been killing it at some open mics, but I really want to push him to the next level, see what his ear is doing, see what his influences are, and really make sure that his core can support all the runs that he's doing. Okay, so I just got here from my session with Jones. Uh, I know she's going to work me hard. Um, today I'm expecting to work on my core and I know that she's going to uh, work with me on technique so I can, you know, achieve that during my shows. I'm super excited to see what she has for me and I'm ready, ready to work. Correct! What's up? What's up? It's so good to see you. Know. It's been a minute. I know, I heard you've been smashing it live. I've been out there, you know, I've been doing my thing. Yeah? Yeah. People have been receptive? Yes, I've gotten good, I've gotten good feedback. I yeah. love your voice because it's a crooner voice. Thank you. You are a crooner, you love Luther Vandross. Luther, yes. That's I name. love that about you, you love Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight, Boys and Men. Boys and Men. Whose runs do you like the most? I like Maxwell, I know we didn't say okay. Maxwell, but I do like Maxwell and his like, his vocal runs that he does. But yeah, I just, I'm more of like the soul. I mean, I add some runs in there, but it's usually like just a touch of runs. I don't like I'm run. I'm so happy you said soul because yeah. that's the piece I, I would love to bring out more. Engage your core. Don't let your you breathiness come out. I okay. love the breath of your voice, but I don't want to hear it right now. Okay. okay. One, Say that. two, three. I fuck with you heavy. Louder, Chris. I want louder. it louder. Give it to us. Louder. Okay. But please give me time. Well, please mommy. beg. Beg them, okay. beg them, Chris. You said okay. Luther, Maxwell. <laughs> they right. are begging, right. there's sweat dripping down their face. I fuck with you heavy. Sing. But please beg. give me time, I'm not ready. And don't blow up my line and act crazy. I'll hit you when I have the time. <laughs> now let him. Let's do a you position. You ready for that? A you position. Mm -hmm. Refresh me, refresh me on the you mm -hmm. position. Oh you man, you got me doing it too now? Uh -huh. Listen up. Okay, here we go. Give me a you position. Uh -huh. 
Ha, 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 ha. I don't want to hear any air, Chris. I'm going to keep you doing it all day until you get rid of the air. <sighs> Chris, get up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Boy, no, stay down there. Uh, if you don't act like you from Tyler. Ha, 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 ha. Da, 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 Six of them. One, two, three. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, Make sure you practice your haws, your melody. I want to hear the different key changes. And then really bring some different inspiration. You said Maxwell, bring some mm. inspiration for runs, nut choicings, um, you know, yeah, some yeah. sonic influences. OK, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah? Yes. Yes, yes thank, you. thank you. Really, really good job. OK. Seriously, okay. really, really good job. I can tell you how proud I am of you. All right, so I'm here at Peg Live. I'm about to perform, uh, working with the band members I've been working with for a while. They can be a tough crowd a lot of times, but uh, this time I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm ready and I feel like they're gonna be impressed with what I do today. From Chris, I'm just expecting honestly something different, you know, really stepping outside of his comfort zone. He, he plays to a lot of live like tracks, so he doesn't always play with bands, so he's just so used to doing something one specific way, which can definitely disconnect you from the rest of the audience. So I really want to see that crowd engagement and for him to really just bring something different to the table than anyone else in Dallas. I'm really looking forward to something different. I'm looking for something original. It's just been the same thing every single time. And I'm really looking forward to more originality, um, him pushing the, pushing his musical envelope and also really just leading us because he's been in this program for a little minute. So, you know, we kind of expect a little bit or a lot more out of Chris than we would a uh, Haley who was just a third time ever. So y'all saw the first episode, right? Like, and I, and I was coming from a place of love. If Chris mess up, then it's coming from a place of love. But just know that I'm not gonna hold back what I got to say because ain't nobody else is gonna do that as well. So. You'll see. I'm letting you know this now. Do not give me the same thing you always give me. I'm telling you, Chris, for the love of God, do not give me the same thing that you always give me. You better put on a performance. You are a veteran here. You give us trash, I'm gonna call it trash. I'm sorry, but you wasted time. There's something that's not connecting. I don't know if it's you're not as confident when it's just you, um, but there's a disconnect. Like when you're on stage, I need you to be second song Chris from the start to the finish because it's like we lose your we lose your energy or we lose your confidence. We lose that connection, and it's like you're you're dropping us. And I feel like you have everything that you need. This whole setup and situation is elevating you and I feel like this is like pushing you but I feel like you have what it takes to you could really like leave us like dripping wet. Do you want the good first or the bad first? <laughs> R&B is confident. No matter what you singing about. It's sex appeal and confident. All right. Let's keep it real, bro. Ain't no woman going to want to be with you if you're not coming in confident. You need to be locked in with the band. The band needs to be locked in with you and then that's gonna make your performance come alive. Whenever you come in, make sure you're confident about it and that you're coming in at the right spot. You don't got time to be coming in off beat and everything like that. You hit that, look, like you hit that joint hard. <laughs> Every single time, bro. It's like, dog, you, you, don't, you don't ride through a school zone doing 100 miles an hour. Like it ain't, it ain't about getting to the end, to your destination, it's the journey. Cause there's only so far that we can go without him drowning you out without us overplaying, and then without you losing your spot. 
you need to make sure that they saying that Chris Jones is dope, not Chris Jones' second song is dope. Because if your second song is dope, then I'm gonna feel like I'm, I'm getting slighted if I gotta pay $15 for three songs. I feel like I should only pay five. Okay, so I just got done performing. Some things went well, some things didn't go exactly how I planned for them to go. I feel like, once again, I need to work on my direction giving and my leading the band as well, something I'm still working on, but I do feel like I did improve tonight. He gave us a performance that he has never done before, really stepping outside of his comfort zone, which we always appreciate the growth. And I just hope that he got everything out of today that he needed. Can't wait to work with you more, Chris. On episode seven of The Rise, I know for a fact that Chris's issue is more so rhythm. I've got to get him to walk and sing and talk and deliver on rhythm and on beat. You wait.